Welcome to the IS Boxer Toolkit Overview. The first thing to do is create each of your characters. Right click on characters and select new character. Name it the name of your character. Each character must have a game and game profile selected. The game profile tells Innerspace which folder and which executable to use. Some people like to use multiple folders to have multiple configuration files. Innerspace provides a different option uh, configured as virtual files and I'll show you that later. Once you've created each of your characters, you'll need to make a character set. Right click on character sets and select new character set. Name it whatever you like. Depending on the game you're playing, you may need to check one of the other options in the character sets panel. Create a slot for each of the characters that you want to play at the same time. Each slot has additional configuration. For example, whenever I switch characters, I want a key sent to each of my other windows, and that is to set my autofollow and assist target. I'm also setting the CPU cores for each slot. Some people use a different method. Instead, they use FTL modifiers, which the game can interpret and use a different assist target depending on which keys are held down. I'll talk more about those in a separate video. And finally, we drag each character into its slot. And later on, once we've exported to Innerspace, it'll have this extra menu which we can use to launch that entire character set at once. Let's move on to window layouts. Window layout will tell Innerspace where to put the windows and how to make them behave. Notice the additional options in the window layout panel. We're going to ignore some of them for now, but notice that swap hot character to main region is enabled by default. I'm going to make an ignore next deactivate hotkey, which is going to let me use a browser window, for example, without making the windows switch. I'm going to enable the rollover zoom effect, which when I move the mouse over one of the small windows is going to become a little bit larger for me to see. Here's where we actually set up how the windows are going to be laid out. I'm going to use the Auto Layout button, which can help you create one main region and other windows smaller along the edge of a screen. I will have five sessions along the bottom of the screen, and I want the inactive windows on the current monitor, and session one should have its own smaller slot. And here you can see how the windows will be laid out on my main monitor. Here's what this layout looks like in actual use. Notice the empty slot in the bottom left corner for session 1. If I decide I want a different layout, it's as simple as click and drag. I can resize this region by selecting a size from this drop down box. I'm selecting a quarter of the screen. Whenever I click and drag one of the regions, it'll automatically dock next to another window or the edge of a screen. I can also resize a region by clicking and dragging the edge. To prevent the docking feature, you can also hold down control while you do that. With this new layout, I won't need this extra window so I can select and remove it. But I will need session 1 to borrow an inactive slot from another window if I switch. Finally, drag the character set to the window layout in order to activate it for that character set. Next let's make a repeater profile. Repeater can repeat keyboard and mouse actions in other windows, like in this example. Any key I press or wherever I move the mouse is repeated in the other windows. And we use a hotkey to toggle that on or off. And of course we just right click and select new repeater profile and name it whatever we like. I have a G15 keyboard so I can actually use one of the lights on the keyboard to indicate whether I have repeater on or off. And now I'm going to set a hotkey that toggles both keyboard and mouse repeating. You can set them independently. I'm going to use the MR key to toggle repeater, which I also set as the indicator light. And just like with window layouts, I'm going to drag the character set to the repeater profile. If you only want certain keys repeated, you can use a white or black list to determine which keys are passed. And on to virtual files. Virtual files will basically replace one file with a file of your choice. So for example, in World of Warcraft, there's config.wtf. Now if I wanted each of my characters to use a different copy of that file, I can do that by adding the characters here. Then for each character, I can pick a new name to use for the file. 
the game will automatically use this other file name instead of the original config.wtf. This way, the game can actually keep my account name per window.